Hello. Uh, good afternoon to everybody. Thanks, Sander, for your kind introduction. <laughs> and thanks to Ten Official Scientific for inviting me uh, to share with all of you our recent experience uh, on uh, uh, with the, um, the new Six Studio HID genetic analyzer in the Forensic Genetics uh, Laboratory of the University of Bologna. Let me give you some background about Bologna and uh, show you where we are. Bologna is located in the uh, north of Italy, in uh, the Emilia-Romagna region, and uh, the province counts more than one million of residents. According to the Ministry of Interior Statistics, in 2019, Bologna was the fourth city in Italy for crime reports. The majority of crimes are related to uh, property crimes uh, like robberies and burglaries, and amongst violent crimes, rapes uh, are the most common. Even if characterized by a lower frequency rate, also domestic violence is important to, to be mentioned, as often it is a hidden phenomenon. Bologna is pleased to host the oldest university of the Western world from 1088. And the Forensic Genetics Laboratory is part of the Legal Medic Medicine Unit together with the Forensic Toxicology Laboratory and the Medical Examiner and Forensic Pathologist, pathologist teams, as well as the Bioethics section dealing with the progress in scientific research and the technological application of life. Being part of the university, the main goals of the Forensic Genetics Lab are research projects and student training in different degree programs. Currently, the principal research area cover the body fluid identification by RNA profiling approach and methylation detection. The influence of surfaces and contaminants um, on the DNA typing, the touch DNA and its transfer the analysis of the genetic polymorphism in drug response and toxicity, and STRs allele frequencies determination in human population studies. Moreover, the lab has constant collaboration with experts all over the world in different biomedical sciences. The DNA forensic lab activity started in the early 90s and today our team involves a small number of forensic experts and fully trained DNA analysts. The same situation affects many Italian small university laboratories. The type of evidence samples analyzed range from all biological fluids to human remains as well <coughs> as tissues, sorry. The DNA technology has been applied not only to resolve cases of paternity and kinship controversies, but also for individual identification in several criminal, ca criminal cases and for species identification. The request to perform DNA analysis come from both judicial authority and all private customers and cover all kinds of forensic genetics application. As a small lab, we do not have a huge number of casework, but we do collaborate with the judicial authority thanks to the trust <coughs> relationship built during the past years and for our fast and rapid workaround time. Constant partnership with the law enforcement, police forces, and prosecutor's offices characterized our activity. Moreover, the Forensic Genetics Laboratory of Bologna is part of the Jeffrey Group. 
the Italian speaking working group of the International Society of Forensic Genetics. So far, the traditional workflow for DNA profiling consists in a preliminary examination of the evidence followed by manual DNA extraction. The quantitation, the quantification is performed using the quantifier tier kit on a 7500 real-time PCR system, and we used to have a 9700 PCR thermal cycler in the very old 310. Each step represented here is performed in separated and dedicated rooms. We have an average of more than 3,000 samples per year run on the platform. Even if the lab equipment has always been under continuous maintenance, an update was mandatory in view of the laboratory accreditation and due to the discontinuation of the old platforms. For us, this was a challenge because the main source of funding is the forensic service for public and private customers. For this reason, we were aware that we could not trust on institutional or government funds. In fact, it is well known about the worldwide crisis of forensic sciences for lack of the resources and a dearth of, fi of the financial funding. In this situation, the task from companies and foundations which promote calls for research projects focused on social utility and local security is essential for small reality as ours. On this way, <clears throat> the first step uh, was to replace the uh, discontinued thermal cycle with the new applied by a system variety. Next, thanks. Thanks to the Bank Foundation Casa di Risparmio of Bologna, we could apply for funds presenting a project on um, the improvement of DNA testing quality standards for forensic application with the aim to help justice and criminal investigation. And we, are, we were able to replace our 310 after 22 years of great job. We were among the first in Italy to have the first capillary electrophoresis platform back in 1997, and now we are pleased to be the first Italian laboratory to get the new six studio genetic analyzer for human identification. Compared to the old instrument, the Six Studio HID fits perfectly with our needs and has many facilities and advantages. As you can imagine, the change has been amazing for us, especially for that concerning the maintenance and resolution. Uh, here I show you some new appealing features of uh, uh, the six studios. Uh, the first is the cartridge that uh, has four capillaries uh, for a total of uh, 1,000 injections in the, uh, a lifespan of six months. This allows us the flexibility that we need without wasting reagent, especially because the lab has a variable sample process rate. When the with, with the slide in and all in cartridge containing array, capillaries, polymer, and buffer, there is a reduced setup and maintenance times, allowing a more efficient turnaround time. To give you a, a practical example, during the lockdown, the instrument was stopped for two months. And when the laboratory activity got back, just a PDS refresh was sufficient to put the instrument back up and running. This is very, very easy to perform. The only manual care is the replacement of the cathode buffer vial every 15 days and the checking that the buffer volume has not dropped below the limit. Moreover, you have the possibility to combine fragment and sequence analysis in the same run. 
but at the moment not sequence and the HID fragment analysis, not yet. The eager throughput and the easy and fast instrument setup contribute to increase the productivity of the lab. Last but not the least, the competitive price was in line with our budget resources limited to a small laboratory. One more feature is the possibility to monitor data in real time from any mobile devices by Thermo Fisher, Thermo Fisher cloud, cloud tool, but unfortunately right now is forbidden for us due to the university privacy rules. We had installation and training of 6 Studio HID at the end of November 2019, and in December we started with the activity on the instrument. But unfortunately, we, we ran a limited number of samples during the past months, and ha we had to stop our internal validation due to the pandemic lockdown. Therefore, we don't have a great experience of all tools the system provides. So far, we have been conducting concordant studies for both HID, STR, and sequence analysis, and we also run the GATNA proficiency test in duplicate using both Identifier Plus and Global Filer Kits. Moreover, since the SIG Studio enables us to have the SIG die capability, we are introducing in our routine work the new Global Filer IQC STR kit, optimized for case or samples. And we hope to complete its internal validation as soon as possible. Now I want to show you some examples uh, of, uh, of uh, analysis on uh, SIG Studio HID. The main improved effect between the two capillary electrophoresis instrument is a definitely increased resolution, especially more evident for sequence analysis, as you can see in this example from a mitochondrial DNA sequence of the same sample. This improvement is due to the polymer POP1, which has greater resolving power compared to, to POP4. This higher resolution ability potentially could resolve peaks intrinsic to the amplification. But as you can see in this example of complex mixed profile run on SIG Studio HID, the algorithm introduced in the data collection software version 1.2 helps keeping the resolution similar to the traditional one, avoiding the call of peaks in the minus one and plus one position. In this slide, I show you an example of concordant study using Identifier Plus Kit on both 310 and 62 platforms. As you can see, the DNA size, sizing and data quality are co comparable between the two instruments. But the quality system included in GMAP IDX version 1.6 is a very new useful feature for us. Uh, used to, to GMAP version 3.2, and the collagen, the collagen, collagen, the headers indicating if the loci meet the analysis requirements, and pass it to the to streamline the result interpretation. So <clears throat> I have no more time for show you to show you more example, but I'd like to show what's going on. What's going on? The first step. Uh, of course, is the conclusion of the internal validation with different kits, including Wi-Fi Plus with 27 loci. And then we would to set up SNPs analysis on the MUSIC Studio uh, for forensic pharmacogenetics and Y and mitochondrial DNA genetic markers application. Then we also decided to, to upgrade the instrument for real-time PCR, replacing the one currently present with the new Quant Studio system. More, investing in the IT infrastructure is one of the most challenging, challenging tasks 
um, facing the probabilistic genotyping software. One of the main goal is to increase the DNA team, raising awareness of the institution on the forensic science impact on the society. And finally, to move trusting, to move towards uh, the automation of the nuclear acid extraction will make the lab workflow more efficient. I would like to thank my lab the director, the Carisbo Foundation, all the forensic group of uh, the Legal Medicine Unit, the staff of Thermo Fisher Scientific, especially uh, Laura Ricardi for technical support, and of course, all of you for your attention. Thank you.